Hey, Polar Bears, Crazy D here. Starting temperature, minus 3.8 C. Minus 3.8 C. Uh, I hope I don't need the flashlight for that. Minus 3.8 C. And starting my ledge is 57,556.6. 57,556.6. On a nice sunny day. I'm heading out. Right on. See you when the GoPro is in the box. Alright. A little bit of a full face tour. Train's gone now. Gotta watch for him though. Train goes by my house about every day. Usually midday. I've lived there long enough I don't even don't even notice it anymore. There we go, shut that choke off. Way. I do have a bit of a vlog topic. I got two in mind. I'm going for a bit of a ride. First one, when I was watching uh, my scooter chasing vid, I watched that scooter guy with his feet down the whole time and uh, figured that's the ultimate skimmer. And, and, and that's kind of what my little bit of a vlog is going to be about is skimmers kind of a term tricks had coined for people that uh, when they're coming up to an intersection they put their feet down and, and kind of skim along and I'm sure anybody who's ridden a motorcycle or, or followed somebody on a bike usually newer riders or people with bad habits they uh, tend to skim and then leave their feet down halfway through the intersection, or all the way through the intersection before picking their feet up. That's, we make fun of them all the time. Whenever I see a skimmer, I'm pointing and laughing, and I'll make a point to pull up next to them. And guys probably figure I'm laughing at their bike, but dude, I'm laughing at your riding style. You look like an idiot. Like, pick your feet up so you can use the damn control. And, and you're in riding position. If something happens in that intersection, you want to be in control. Not to mention getting your foot caught on something stupid like a rut or something. You know. Sorry, that's my little bit of a, a rant on skimmers. That really drives me nuts. I pick my feet up as soon as I can, and when I'm coming up to an intersection, I do try to roll up nice and slow, and, and, and that gives me some practice on my slow riding. And you can never have too much practice slow riding. Anybody can ride a bike fast. If you're good at riding a motorcycle slow, that improves your riding. Definitely. You're a way better rider. All right. I think I'm going to have to uh, end this vlog right now because I'm heading out to the highway and I get to my destination. The tricks reminded me of a good story. So I'm going to head up north, put some K on, and uh, tell a, a story. A crazy D story. So, no shit again. Christ, the weather's getting warm when uh, there's more scooters out. Gentleman's nine, you're hunting me, dude. Trixie had mentioned that I should tell the story of uh, my first motorcycle crash. She was there that night. So, uh, yeah. This is 23 years ago, I guess. We are teenagers. Trix and I just started dating. We hung out at my parents' farm and partied most of the day. My late buddy Greg, Trixie, and her friends. So, 
It was getting late. We decided to leave my house and go down to her friend's place because her mom wasn't there. I hopped on my bike. The girls and Greg hopped in his Mustang and we raced all down this, this back road. This used to be a, a, still is a back road. Now it was quite foggy. We hit the straightaway back there. I blasted past the Mustang. I was on a 19, oh, I forget what year it was, a CX500, a Honda CX500, the V-twin liquid cooled. Anyway, came into these S-Bends after I passed the Mustang and forgot they were S-Bends. I thought they were up a little bit further. Now the road came a little bit, uh, I'm going to pull over a little bit. I think this is the edge. They've repaved this road and changed it around a bit since I was here. But uh, the S-Bends used to come down and S in a little bit more. I got the first one, realized I was in the S-Bends, locked it up, got into the second one and went straight through it, hit the ditch and put the Honda into that tree. Luckily when I hit the ditch, I went sideways and the Honda hit the tree head on and I got ejected off the bike out into the field. Whew. Hey, you can see the road used to come this way. When I got ejected, oh, it's knee deep in snow. When I got ejected off the bike, it is kind of a deep ditch, guys. The bike came into the tree. I went out in the field, blew my helmet off, blew both my shoes off, knocked me unconscious. Wow, that's some good deep snow. So, I had passed the Mustang and the, they went right by. Got to the stop sign, went through, and went, where the hell is Dave? I got down the road a little bit, turned around, come back and uh, whew, decided to search for me, <laughs> figured I must have crashed. And sure enough, saw the tail light of the bike up against the tree. So then I went out in the field and there I was, woke me up. Pulled the bike out of the ditch. I was a little dazed and confused. We got the bike, my buddy Greg got the bike out on the road. We kicked the handlebars. And uh, managed to, uh, the bars were like this and the wheel was straight. Kicked the bars enough that I could turn a little. I couldn't turn right very much, but I could turn left. So I got on and got on the bike, pointed it down the road and said let's go. I guess the moral of the story is showing off the chicks, racing motorcycles on back roads could possibly end in tragedy. It didn't for me. I was flipping lucky. I've been lucky lots of times though, so thank goodness. Alright, let's see if I can get lucky riding on this icy fucking back road with a bunch of goddamn traffic behind me. You sons of bitches. Oh, wait a minute. That's a rant. Uh, ending mileage, 57,000. 662.4 woohoo over 100k 57,662.4 or not I hope you guys can read that so there's my uh oh, there's my setup for my full face all right crazy D out